right. Well, we got more trash. Uh, it's a big one. I, I, I hope it doesn't take a super long time because this guy is really boring. Um, I don't really think he's terribly exciting to watch, but uh, we have to we have to watch it because Brandon Tatum is mad that there is a gay cereal. He's mad about gay cereal now. Uh, Box Adonimus, thanks for the prime. I cannot imagine giving a shit about gay cereal. I just don't understand why that would be a thing. Make men men again. Okay, dude. I, I, when, I thought men were not supposed to bitch constantly about cereal. I, that was like number one lesson. My dad reached down to me. Uh, 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 he had his American flag hat on. He was drinking some whiskey. Um, he just shot a deer with a bow and arrow, and he said to me, Son, it's past 9-11 now. It's 2002. This is how my dad said. And son, we got to make men men again. Quit your bitching at all times. And then, so I didn't bitch at all times, and now I just respond to you bitching at all times. So who's the man now, Brandon? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe it's me. It's about to get hot. This video That's good. It's going to get hot. It's brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the... Oh, my God. I, this isn't sped up, is it? Nope. Oh. Wait. Is the quality at 480 on purpose? Let's go 720 at least. In the description section, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, I'll make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Mumbling quickly is not really the way, in my opinion. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm getting right into this. We ain't got to talk long. We ain't got to say much. You ain't got You ain't got to say much. What is, is this? Maybe I need to go to... To full 1080. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Thank here? you, Breitbart, for for, for pu is putting this, this out. Is this going to get better? Thank you, Breitbart, for putting this out. I hear. Okay. Somebody explain this to me. All right. Those look like Fruit Loops, and the, it's rainbow colored, and so they're saying together. I'll give you a little time. Somebody explain this. All right, I'm ready. To me. Explain what? Why? Why what? Why? Why? Why what? Why? Why what? What are we whying? Why? We need to tell catalogs, and uh -huh. their, their little thing is here, why are you doing this? If you look at the side panel on this these Cheerios. Is it, is it Cheerios? Is this Cheerios? It doesn't look like Cheerios. It looks like little, little Fruit Loops. Are they like... Okay, let's read this. Kellogg Company has teamed up with advocacy group GLAD, Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, to push the limited edition LGBTQ theme cereal called Together with Pride, which hit shelves across the country last week ahead of Pride Month. The limited edition cereal box features several of Kellogg's famous cartoon characters, including Tony the Tiger, Toucan Sam, Snap, Crackle and Pop. In the bottom left-hand corner, a frosted mini-wheat can be seen holding a rainbow flag with a triangle on it. Oh, so the intersexual intersexual intersectional uh pride flag of which we also have an emote there it is pretty pretty cool we also have just just that flag uh so that's a thing um you can see you can see over here i'm not gonna get rid of the flags up here but uh, uh we also have that available to us on the top right there of your screen uh if you want it uh that's a thing but yeah I, it's just a it's just an intersectional pride flag that's all it is um, heart-shaped Fruit Loops. I don't know. Okay, so this is bad because some reason it says he, her, and she, she is, and they, them, and all this other stuff, and they say put your nouns, Pro pronouns. But if you don't think this is brainwashing, wait. If you don't think this is propaganda, what is the point of this? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Is this propaganda too then? It might be. The Noah's Ark picture books. Is this propaganda? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> like like sort of. It's like pretty harmless. I think Noah's Ark is a is a 
is uh, like the the kids version of the story doesn't really preach anything unless it brings up actual god but it rarely does usually just like look at this noah he saved him from a flood look at these things and it basically it usually it's used as a tool and and i was in secular public schools i had secular parents that weren't religious and i remember some noah's ark shit and basically the idea was just to teach you um, about different animals, they used it as a as a as an activity to teach you about. Oh, here's a giraffe. Here's a hippo. Here's here's an elephant. Sure, but like but like but like if this is not propaganda to you, then certainly this can't be, because this isn't even a story. This is just rainbow capitalism. Like yet again. Your problem is not with gay people. Your problem is not with Pride Month. Your problem is with rainbow capitalism. Because you're like, this is cereal. What's it have to do with anything? I was taught that it happened. Well, yeah, I was talking about uh, in your experience. It can be, right? Because your experience could be, uh, 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 you know, with Noah's Ark can be absolutely propagandized. Right, it can be part of the religious zealotry that you experience. But I was raised secularly, and 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 Noah's Ark was literally just a, a a mechanism through through which people taught animal stuff. So it's not always propaganda. I, I don't find this to be. What, what do you think this kid is taking from this? It's just cereal. Does can this fucking ch- child like read? Probably not that well. Certainly not together. It'd be very. I'd be very surprised if this kid could read this word in one shot. You know what I mean? Why are they doing this for children? What do you What do you mean? Why are they doing this for children? This kid probably don't even know what a pronoun is. Right. Yep. They probably don't even know how to write good. Probably. They probably still can't pull their own catalogs, Frosted Flakes. Probably. Fruit root, Fruity Loops or whatever these are. They can't even. They can't pull their own bowl. But you got them he, hers, and she, she is. Well, I think it's pretty, it's, wait, wait, hold on. Saying he, she, or they is easier than pouring a bowl of cereal. Like, for an adult. So I don't really know what the, it's like just objectively it's easier. I don't really know. (laughs) He, done, easy. She, done, they. Bowl of cereal, that's a whole process. I got to walk to the fucking thing. I got to get a bowl. I got to pour it. Just a lot of effort, dude. I don't know. A lot of fucking effort for some Fruity Loops. This is what bothers me with this. Okay. I, I And I don't have any pronouns as a cis. So They're in- please do not observe me. Introducing yep. propaganda to your children. Is this propaganda? If a kid has never thought about this, yep. they're going to think about it now. Yes. Wait. Again, this is just assuming it's bad to think about things. What's the bad part of thinking about stuff? What's the part where you're like, ah, this is the bad thing. I need to know. What's the bad part? If a kid has never had a conversation about this, uh-huh. you're going to ha- you're gonna have to have it now. Well, yeah, sure, but that's like you chose to buy the cereal. Clearly, you're a parent that's ready for it. I don't think this kid is just stumbling upon the pride Cheerios. Like, what do you mean? I don't understand. Like, okay, sure. You're going to have to have a conversation now. Do you think this – you said the kid couldn't even read. I mean, do you think that the kid's going to read the side of this box and go, hmm, what are pronouns? Like, maybe? So just talk about it with him. What's the problem? There's no place. These guys are such bad parents. What the fuck? Brandon Tatum, do you have kids? You're are you a shitty dad? In <laughs> you a seem ch- like a shitty dad. House formation that they need to be dealing with the LGBTQ movement. What what is what does dealing with it mean? You know, they used to say this about black people. Not to go there, but we're going there. White parents used to say this. Like, what? Well, what am I supposed to say? My kid goes to school and sees a black person at the school. How am I supposed to talk to my kid about that? What do you mean? I mean, that literally was a thing. 
part of the big reason for segregation in general was to keep black children away from white children. As if you could catch the black. <laughs> as if catching it would be a bad thing. Hmm, maybe it's only the treatment that's bad. Interesting. Like, why are you upset about this? I, it's so weird that you repackage the thing that was used against you and people that look like you to just fucking throw it at gay people for some reason. It's just really wild to me. There is no part of child development that they need to be talking about pronouns. What do you mean not talking about pronouns? They already use pronouns. And then not only are you talking about pronouns, you are mischaracterizing pronouns. What's the mischaracterizing of the pronoun? What? You are a singular person. Okay. He, his, she, hers. Okay. Singular person. Oh, he's mad about he's mad about uh, uh, singular they. Jesus Christ. You. you okay. All right. You are not a. You know. You are not. Okay, as a guy who just said this kid can't really write good, I don't think maybe you should be judging people's grammar. He maybe doesn't write well, Brandon. Yeah, okay, cool. He doesn't write well. But are we fucking, are we Are we going to be just fucking super big sticklers about shit you don't know? Or are we just going to let people talk like they talk? I don't fucking care if you talk like that. I don't care if you say that shit, dude. But you can't start correcting other people's shit when you don't even speak correctly. Like, what? Like what are you doing? You can't you can't go that that kid that kid right there. I don't know why I'm doing a southern that kid right there. <laughs> he's basically he's basically got the mentality of a white southern man anyway. Uh, that kid right there can't can't really do the words good. And then they talk about a they them. Oh, you can't be a they them. You're only a he him or she her. Really, Brandon? That's the way we're gonna go with this. Your fucking your fucking massive IQ is going to determine this. Yeah, <laughs> fuck off. Plural. There's no plurality of persons in an individual being. Yeah, there is. There is no they in a singular personal pronoun. Yeah, there is. You are one person, a singular person. She, hers, it identifying as a singular person. Sure, unless you don't. Some people don't. <laughs> there is no looking at one person saying they. Yes, there is. <sighs> Here's an example. You ready for this? It's going to blow your mind. <clears throat> A classmate of mine was sick today, Mom. Oh, yeah? How are they doing? Boom. I crushed it. Wow. Holy shit. You want another one? Oh, hey, Timmy. Happy to see you home from school. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my, my teacher gave us a lot of, uh, a lot of homework. Well, don't they know we hate homework in this here house, Timmy? Boom. We did it again. Oh no. Oh no. No, oh, no. Back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I'll be. Anyway. them what are we smoking uh this is super lemon haze number two uh it was harvested on the uh 6th of november uh last year or october sorry um it was packaged by puff cannabis company uh, and it's delightful. Um, it gives you like a nice sort of like buzzy high. Um, it's uh, it's it's pretty high grade. I think it's delicious. If, if you want to see some of these big old nuggies, I still have plenty of big old nuggies we could look at. Like look at like look at these. These are just these are just here. Let's let's get you, let's get a little ooh a little close. Well, that that's not really focused. That doesn't matter though. Well we'll 
I'll show you these little nuggies. They're very delightful. Okay, they're, um, ooh, they smell really good. I'm really looking forward. Uh, this is what I'm smoking currently. Um, I'm almost out though. I need to go. I need to go. This was an ounce at one point, and now it is no longer that. But so, that's what I got going on, Brandon. Thank you for asking. I was I was looking. For, thank you. That was actually really nice of you. This is uh, this is crazy. People should go to prison for putting this propaganda and abusing children sexually. Okay, first of all, you just said people should go to prison for making a cereal box. Pretty weird. What was the sexual part? <laughs> What's the sexual part of of the of the 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 fruity loops? What's the sexual aspect of that? Uh I don't Um Seems like a seems like a pretty a pretty intense way to go about your thoughts about the 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 fruit loops are you okay brandon are you good dude are you having an okay time the only cereal that is child abuse and this is a fact the only cereal that is child abuse is captain crunch original because it cuts the shit out of their little mouths okay Damn it, it's so good. That's what this is. Sexual abuse of a child. Why is it sexual? What's sexual about this? Is it? What's sexual? LGB. What does a kid know about LGB? They barely can say their ABCs forwards and backwards phonetically. And, and phonetically? Wait, what does that mean? That's not... Wait, wait. Forwards and backwards phonetically. They're just letters. That's... You can't... <laughs> Okay. And, and, and y'all okay. got LGB. This guy. <laughs> First of all, let me, I'm pointing at the screen. Y'all can't see me pointing. This from 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 LG on is is ridiculous. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer. It's ridiculous. What is a Q? Queer. What is a Q? Do you, are you are you actually? At, do you think this guy's actually asking? Wait, Brand Brandon, do you need help? Are you okay? Will someone clip this and send this to Brandon Tatum? Are you okay? Do you need someone to walk you through this? You're very worked up about gay cereal, dude. It's just rainbow colored cereal. I, I think you should probably call Just don't buy the gay cereal then, man. Are you good? Are you okay? Do you have kids? I hope not. You're a bad, you're a bad father. I can tell you're a bad father. That sucks, man. Your kids deserve better. Maybe your wife will find someone better than you. I don't know. <laughs> or your divorced wife. I don't really know. It's, it's, yeah, it's. <laughs> Sometimes people use Q as questioning as well, which is also fine. Whatever you got going on. But usually Q means queer. And that will usually, you know, uh, lesbian, uh, uh, gay, bisexual are pretty, pretty standard stuff. Uh, trans is a pretty obvious thing. Uh, queer can mean a lot of different things. It's usually more of an encompassing situation where someone might say, yeah, I'm a queer person. It's sort of a rec reclamation. But it could also mean uh, that they have a, a, a specifically uh, like a gender queerness to them. Some people uh, uh, la use the Q to describe themselves as that. Um, is polyamory included? Sure. Um, I would say polyamory specifically, in my opinion, is, is not the same thing. Um, but it is a type of... It's not a sexuality necessarily. It is a type of relationship organization that is not mainstream and does deserve intersectional support is pretty much how I'd put it. I don't think it's on the same level as being trans, obviously, or whatever. Uh, you don't have to like, come out as poly necessarily, maybe to your partner or partners, but um, um, it's it's still a, a denigrated thing that, that deserves support for sure. Yeah. Um, now, I personally... Uh, uh, have dabbled and agree with that, and but I don't consider myself in need of representation for us. So I don't really talk about it, but yeah, but but so. Uh, I felt the same way, but my mom, who is gay, was all excited to welcome me to the community, and I didn't want to make her sad or anything. No, I mean you you are. This is. 
I don't like to include myself in the community, but you can include yourself if that's the way you feel. You also go by it says he they in your in your in your in your thing. So I mean, there's clearly some aspect of you that is not um, that is part of the LGBT community more broadly. So I mean, like, yeah. So I, I don't think I think you're still part of the community. <laughs> that's pretty valid. Everybody know, and especially if your mom is like, oh, I want you to be part of it. Like, just do that with your mom. That's cool. If you somehow, and this is for grown people, not no kids. If you somehow um, a girl and you want to be another girl, that's an L. If no. you're a dude and you don't want to be another dude, that's G. Okay. Even though both of them can be G. So you both of them can be G. Well, that's just, that's just, that's just, gay is a shorthand for that. He's very messed up about this, dude. He's so fucking concerned. You don't even really need an L. You you don't really need an L, but it's specifically talking about, I mean, you've already described what the difference is. So. You just need a G. Okay. Now oh, oh, well, now, <laughs> why why would you get an L when all you, all you needed was a G, man? Wow. Woo. Now, the B is because you want to be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought bisexual erasure was going to happen? B is just because you want to be nasty. All right. Or or maybe you're genuinely attracted to uh, n multiple different types of people that exist. God, don't even talk to him about Pan. Holy shit. Uh, uh, wow. He's so, I, 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 I'm not surprised there was bisexual erasure there. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sarah is bisexual, for instance. And uh, she has had sexual interactions with women and sexual interactions with men, and uh, uh, these are these are these are just normal things that some people like. Um, for instance, I like uh, no sexual interactions with more than one woman. Sometimes that's nice. So <laughs> I'm double straight. Take that, Brandon, you pussy. And you want to be freaky, and you want to be you want to have it both ways. You want to be freaky. You want it. Okay. That's what B is. That that ain't the same. That is the same. It is a sexuality, Brandon. It's it's pretty weird that you're so fucked up about this. You just want to be nasty. That Wait, what's nasty about it? That's though? why you want that's why you put a B right there. I mean, not really, no. Cuz you nasty. Okay. And you you want both. That that's not that's unacceptable. Wait, why is it unacceptable? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why is that unacceptable? That's so weird. That's unacceptable. Why? B is bisexual. You're just you're just attracted to other. It's doesn't. By the way, it's not off. Like bisexual people aren't just out here having fucking threesomes all the time or orgies. That's not a thing. That's like it can happen, but it doesn't always happen. I wouldn't even say that that's normal behavior. Like what the fuck, man? Pretty strange. And a T and a Q, a T, what, what is a T? Trans. What is a T? Trans. All of these, all of these are mental disorders. Uh, I guess, maybe. A disorder? I, if you want, like, they don't have to be. They can be coupled with mental disorders, usually because of the treatment they face. But, uh, I mean, I mean... Let's just, let's tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Let's steel man them. Let's say every single one of you is just fucked in the head. You're just fucked, right? You're just crazy. You're just crazy. You like dicks and vaginas? Whoa, that's fucking bananas. Let's just say it is. Well, what's the treatment then? The treatment seems to be doing that i'm just talking i'm just ta i'm just saying oh you have the the mental disorder of being trans Rah! what's the treatment transitioning her ramble was just a gorilla humanist report thanks for following dude it's transitioning The Humanist Report. Thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, also thank you for following. I mean, it, 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 even if it, even if he's right, which he's not, even if he's right, if you have a 
the severe mental disorder of Lord being. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Human Support, for the raid as well, man. Appreciate that. Jeff Waldorf, thanks for following. Uh, uh, love you. I missed you. You came in right after I was on the uh, uh, on the um, uh, the Vosh stream for the Palestinian stuff. Just missed you. That was cool, man. Um, the 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 treatment towards the the very terrible and dehabilitating. Uh, 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 being trans, uh, the treatment is just doing that. Is just being trans. Is continuing to do that and be be your most comfortable. Harambles. So I don't, <laughs> he's so fucking mad. If you're if you're new here and you're like, why is this guy wearing corn? Blame chat. They paid me to do it. Happens every time. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're looking at uh, Brandon Tatum, uh, who is an ex police officer. Uh, turned uh, Republican pick me. Uh, uh, it's pretty sad stuff. He's very, very mad about um, the gay fruity loops. He's very mad about them. Um, so here we go. It's not a cult. It's not a cult. We all agree it's not a cult. It can't be a corn cult. They're mental disorders. And that don't mean you got to be mad at nobody or treat anybody poorly. You're literally treating everybody poorly right now. You just said bisexual people, quote, just want to be nasty. What do you mean? You're treating people like a dick. What do you mean? You don't got to treat people like, like an asshole, but I'm going to. Like, okay. <laughs> because they have a mental disorder. But stop pushing <laughs> mental disorders on children. Hey, look. If it's a mental disorder, if it is a mental disorder to uh, to 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 want to wear a pretty dress, I mean, some of you guys need to be locked right up. Okay, you're too hot. You're too hot. You're feeling yourself. You're like, I used to identify as a man. That didn't make me comfortable. I now identify as a pretty pretty lady. <sighs> Whew. Your body confidence, your sexiness. That's a crime. That's right. Being a sexy lady is a crime now. Lock me up. Because Lock you up. Because if you are a man and you want to be with another man, some something chemically has diverted in your mind. Yeah. The chemical boner juice has diverted from my mind into Ding Dong and made me go like, mm, look at that. That man's got a nice ass. That's that's like the whole thing. Right? Did I get it right, gays? Did I get it right? Because that's how it works for me. As soon as the boner juice goes down, it's just like, no more thinking for me. No more thinking. I'm attracted to what I'm attracted to. I didn't know I was attracted to it until it happened. You know what I mean? Like, you see something, you're like, damn. I'm attracted to you. Boner juice took over. It's not really It's not really my brain doing it, is it? Is it your brain that does it when you decide that you're attracted to somebody? You know how you decide attraction? <laughs> Did you decide to be attracted to, to, to men with good butts? Which I still don't know what that means, but I'm glad that a lot of you do. What's a good man butt? I know a good lady butt. But I don't know a good man butt. I, that's, that's the test. I think that's the test to determine whether or not you're just a little gay. Is to be like if you can just, if you can say like that's why that's a good butt. I think that's the good the, the just a bubble butt has to be bubble butt. Now you're saying firmed in tone. Those are different things. Like a round fuzzy peach. Okay, it's the same. A good man butt is present and firm. Just present. It just exists. Haramble, it's structured. It has high cheekbones. Your butt has high cheekbones. It's very structured. Okay. Sandra Teehee, thanks for following. Good man butts are toiter than good lady butts. A good man butt is a butt that you can grip and grasp with your hands. A nice fat man ass. Okay, we're getting a lot of different ideas here. So I just, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Could eat a peach for hours? Now I could eat a peach for hours. Unless you're talking about a butt. A man butt. I thought peaches were for JJ's, really. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Because evolution has shown us, Bible has shown us, whichever one you want to believe in. Wait, what? Okay. That a man's only survival of the fittest instinct is for a man to reproduce with a woman. The only reason that you is to reproduce. Wait, what? What was that? Was he making an innuendo about fucking? Naturally. Now, y'all have perversed it, and now you want to just do it on the weekend because you feel like it. Look, I don't know why conservatives like to tell on themselves all the time, but clearly they don't nut enough. Like, clearly. Brandon Tatum has not had his balls played with in 20 years, and it shows. And that's, you know what? I don't blame anybody for not playing with his balls. They don't deserve it. He's an asshole. But if you are somehow having an emotional feeling that's contrary to human nature, there that's a disability. That is called gender dysphoria or sexuality dysphoria. Sexuality dysphoria. It used to be a disability, according to the United States government, but they got rid of it because they want to push this on your kids. How does that even make sense? Let's say that was true. Let's just say that was true. Again, we're going to steal a man his weird brain. Okay? So, <laughs> sexual dysphoria <laughs> used to be a, <laughs> a thing, I guess. Okay? Uh, uh, but they made it not a disability. They. Singular. Uh, which I thought we couldn't use they as a pronoun. But that's what, it's whatever. He, he said it now, but that's fine. Okay. They said now it's no longer a disability because they want to push it on your damn kids. Why? Who's pushing what on kids and for what reason? What's the end game, bro? What does that even mean? They want your kids to get in this loop. What they loop? Want your the kids Fruit Loops? Go down this path. Because Why? They, don't need, they still peeing in the bed. Why are they looking at this? They're still peeing in the bed. You should not have six-year-olds peeing in the bed that you should address this. <laughs> A cry little shifter. Thanks for following. And if you a, a man and you think you're a woman, something has gone on in your mind. I, I get something has gone on in your mind. That's true. Chakwe, thanks for following. That, I don't understand why people think that. Oh, this, oh, you just, oh, you just being you. No, something has happened in your mind. Give them an opportunity to get it straight now, so they can live a normal, productive life. <laughs> well, that's what. That's what. <laughs> okay, trans people very regularly uh, 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 get therapy very regularly have, have interactions with medical professionals that talk about this. Like it's a big part, like being trans, it, it's a big part of your life uh, uh, because there's an obvious incongruity between how you are perceived by society and how you wish to be perceived uh, uh, due to an incongruence between your, the way you value yourself and see yourself and the, 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 the way that your body is. So, <laughs> and then, of course, the social nature of, uh, uh, after that. I, I, like, it's a big thing that's talked about and, and discovered and, and looked at. Like, I guarantee a trans person has way more introspection than any Brandon Tatum has ever done. Like, like it's just, it's absolutely, it's absolutely wild to me that they think this is, like, a flippant thing. Like, has he ever talked to a trans person in his life? Like, he just genuinely tried to listen. Like what? Imagine this. Imagine being secure enough as a man, Brandon, to sit there and listen to another person about their experiences without pushing your own bullshit at them. Do you think that you could be secure enough in your masculinity to allow somebody else to tell you about them? You might be surprised what you learn. It's pretty. It's pretty standard stuff to like. <laughs> Uh, uh, to, to, uh, to, to, to try to learn stuff about people instead of like yelling at them about it. Every trans person I've met has had their SO on their shoulders more than any cis person. What? What? 
Their head so oh their head so on their shoulders more than any cis person. Uh, I don't uh, maybe. I think I think there's more introspection. I don't necessarily mean that. I don't necessarily think that means that uh, you have a better um, like cognitive function or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> it can't be what you experienced because I never experienced that. That's exactly what I think. I think a trans person will have more understanding of gender their own gender and their own sexuality than a repressed uh, uh, cishet person will, though. I will say that um, for sure um, because they just haven't thought about it. They haven't been made to think about it, right? Certainly Brandon hasn't thought about it at all. He he thinks that being bisexual is some sort of like just I want to – like a proclivity to fuck, right? It's just, it's just promiscuity, but it's obviously not the case. But it's whatever. How, ter- how much of turmoil Tur- – do you did he mean was that turmoil? I'm not from the south. Was that turmoil, or did he mean something else? He said turmoil. You go through if you are a man with all the man intangibles. The man intangibles. But you feel like you're a woman. What do you mean man intangibles? That if you don't have wait wait if you feel like a woman you do not have the man intangibles. Does he not know what words mean? How how much turmoil in your in a person's life will they go through? Living with their reality. That's like the whole fucking point, Brandon. Yes, it is turmoil. Yes, yes. The being trans and having a dysphoric uh, uh, experience is incredibly tumultuous. Yeah. Surprise. I, like, what? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? I assume he means intangibles in the wrong way. I don't think he knows what the word intangibles mean. Intangibles would mean how you feel. The things that, that are part of your personality and your psyche that makes you feel as though you are a man. But he's saying here, you have all the man intangibles, yet you feel like a woman. I think he means you have all the man parts. Meaning you have you have male sex characteristics, primary and secondary, probably. So I just think he used the wrong word. Cause you could go to the beach with your homegirls, mm-hmm. but you got a, you know, you, you got a banana. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> a penis. I was confused. And, so, so the so the tangibles, you mean? And, and you can't, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing with it. What do you mean you ain't gonna be able to do nothing with it? What does that mean? And if somehow you, what do you mean do nothing with it? What does that mean? You walking on the beach and you see something you like. What do you do about that? What? I don't understand. Wait. Wait. Does he have uncontrollable boners? Does Brandon Tatum not have any control over his dick? Why do they tell on themselves, dude? If I see something I like, I might just have a raging boner and come everywhere on the beach. There's gonna be little clumps of cummy sand all around me. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so fucking weird, bro. I don't understand, dude. If you see something you like, what are you gonna do? I don't know. N- not come everywhere, mostly? That's my experience. I, <laughs> I've been to the beach a few fucking times. I live on a peninsula, and I also used to live in Florida, which is also a peninsula. Like, been around a beach or two, never come in the sand on accident. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. What are you gonna do? I, really weird. You can't use it. You got a banana and you can't even use it. What are you, when you go to the beach, are you looking to fuck Brandon like every time? I don't understand. Your girls are talking about every month. These things are going on. Yeah. You can't talk about it. What are you, oh, oh shit. He, he, <laughs> he's talking about periods. He's talking about like periods, I guess. Every month we get periods. People on hormones experience uh, 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 a similar phenomenon. Uh, They don't necessarily bleed from their vaginas because they don't have eggs to drop and, and, like, they don't have, like, that process in the body. But uh, 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 trans women um, 
trans women have absolutely reported that they have similar experiences uh, uh, <laughs> with, with the PMS and stuff like that. Um, uh, and, and, and of course, uh, the only thing I've ever heard a straight woman talk about is, of course, her period. Uh, or I guess a cis woman, rather. Um, the only thing, that's the only thing I've ever heard uh, them talk about, which is pretty wild stuff. Yeah. Um, especially when you're at the beach. Just periods. That's it. Because ain't nothing happened to you every month. Old girls say they haven't, you know, they got children and they got little boys. And you ain't never going to have no little boy because you, you ain't a girl. I mean, they could. They, they literally have. Trans people have had kids many different times. I don't think it would be the same experience as a trans woman. You probably wouldn't carry a child, at least for now. But science is getting closer. God, they're going to freak the fuck out. They are going to freak the fuck out when trans women start carrying children. They're going to lose their fucking minds, dude. But we pushed people into this. Who's being pushed? This video ain't going to be, they're going to ban this one. You eat, what are you talking about? It's right here. We push people into it. We're pushing them off a cliff. Who's being pushed? What? I genuinely want to talk to Brandon Tatum, although I do not think he would do well. I think he would cry. But um, no one's being pushed. Telling someone they're valid is not a push. How do you feel? Oh, I feel like I'm a man. Okay, you're valid. Okay. Oh, how do you feel? I feel like I'm a woman. Okay, you're valid. That's the end of it. I mean, that's just really the whole fucking, it's really the whole fucking thing, man. Like whatever you whatever you feel is most comfortable with yourself. That's that's the whole long and short of it. Hold on, is it not normal to uncontrollably come in the sand at the beach after thoroughly disgusting periods with my homegirls? That's true. It is it is actually pretty weird uh, to uncontrollably come in the sand after talking about um, um, periods with your homegirls. Yes, we pushed them and thrust them into this lifestyle. What lifestyle? I don't even understand. When they're confused, we should be helping them straighten it out. Ha <laughs> ha! Straighten it out. You know what I mean? Make them straight. We shouldn't push them. We shouldn't push them into uh, feeling validated and comfortable with their body. We should correct them and make them straight. That seems healthy. That's probably good. Seems like a healthy way to talk about stuff. And in America, if you want to stay confused, then do you. But let's not confuse our children. Let's help them straighten it out so they can live a productive life. Wait, what's what's productive? And, the, and be the best version of themselves. What do you mean? That's what they're doing. That's literally what being trans is exploring, is being the best self you can be. Like, when you are trans, you are unhappy with yourself at a certain point. To a degree that you wish to change it in some way, whether that's just social, whether it's medical, whether it's both, whether it's neither. Maybe you, maybe you just want to be presented different. Maybe you want to wear, wear different clothes. Maybe you want to maybe you want to just be referred to differently. Maybe nothing will really change except for your own interior experience. There's lots of valid ways to exist in in this world. Ducky Parse, thanks for following. I, 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 I don't think that's that's a very terrible thing and in, in to be in the pursuit of your best possible self. If your best possible self has a huge dick and also you want to wear a pretty dress, that strawberry dress, that cute one, Sarah actually bought one. That's true. She actually literally bought that dress. Uh uh <laughs> it's 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 I, I I don't understand why you would be why you would be upset that someone would 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 search for some kind of way to make them feel more comfortable uh, uh, with themselves because they are the only people they can be. They they have to. I mean, that's just like <laughs> it's just like the only way things work. I don't know, dude. <laughs> you have to you have to introspect. You have to you have to understand who you are and whether you're trans or not to live your best life. And if at some point you have found out that living a certain way that might be a little weird for Brandon Tatum to look at, uh, uh, I think I think maybe you can uh, 
you could just fuck off, man. I, I, I don't think you have to be upset at somebody for literally living their best life. He he likes to say words, but he's he's not really actually actually like like showing anybody uh, 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 the work here. I was trying to look for the picture of the strawberry dress for you. It's not working though. It's not working. Oh yeah, I did find it. I found it. Okay, this is a little thirst trappy though. That's all right. It's for you guys. That's all right. So Sarah got the strawberry dress, and she did a thing. There you go. And I don't want to hear nobody try to tell me, oh, they, they are being the best version of themselves. It don't. It can't feel good knowing that on the outside you got a you got a jaw like Muhammad Ali. Some 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 people have jaws like Muhammad Ali. And you got long hair uh -huh. and people in your hands big you can't change your bones. You can change a little bit of that. You got a big old 13 size shoe uh -huh. with coins on the feet. Some some trans people do. He's only talking about trans women right now. And you six five with heels on. Uh-huh. And somehow I, I mean I mean these are like there are cis women that are just like this. I don't know. I don't. I mean. I mean. Like we just. We can just go down a, a, a list of WNBA players. I don't know. Like. Like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> like. Like this is a cis woman. This is a cis woman. <laughs> like she could whoop my ass immediately. She's way taller than me. Way. Way. Like look at the muscle definition. That's a. That's a fucking like. <laughs> I mean. I mean, some of these women out here are are, are fucking buff, dude. It's like, just a thing. It happens. I don't. I don't know. Like, can, look, Candace Parker. Candace Parker is not only good looking. She's in, and, and and I assume Brandon Tatum would be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like like here, let me look. Uh, I'll just Candace Parker. I'll just well, like, come on, dude. You can't tell me that this person isn't both feminine, has a kid. And and is jacked and, and and has masculine aspects to her physicality in the way that we attribute them. But is she masculine? Is she a man? No, she's a she's an attractive woman that could that could dunk on me immediately. And and so I like I I don't understand this idea that you like there's some sort of like standard by which a woman ought to look. This is a cis woman, right? Who's just an athlete. It, it, like look at the look, look at she's just holding a basketball and she has guns, dude. Come on, man. Why, why is he so fucking emasculated? He's so fucking upset that 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 there could be someone that has masculine features that could be very comfortable wearing feminine attire and 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 sh and, and, and you know uh, uh, be a woman. I guess was, was, I was trying to find other ways that it would offend him, but really just being a woman is what offends him. Uh, so. <laughs> I mean, he's just so fucking he's just so fucking upset and insecure by this. Real weird. Real fucking weird. You feel feminine like a girl. You, yes. Quit lying to these people. No one's lying. They can't feel natural or normal or you feel good on the inside. Some people do find dysphoric uh uh experiences when addressing the natural state of their body. Yes. Cis people also don't like aspects of their body at all times. Like, this is a really normal human experience that isn't only trans people at all. There are cis women out there who, because of our terrible beauty standards and the way this works, and it goes for men as well. We have terrible uh, standards for men all the time. Um, like, uh, 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 you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a chubby dude. There, there's, there's, uh, there's aspects of media that will never represent me, uh, or at least has not represented me. Um, um, at really any point other than like for comedy and stuff like that, and I'm a funny guy in general, or at least I try to be. Uh, well, I don't really try to be. I just, I just sort of uh, uh, people fancy me a funny guy. Maybe it's because I'm chubby. I don't know. I haven't been chubby in my whole life, but <laughs> it's just, it's just one of those things, man. Where it's just like, it's just like, yeah, some people have things about their bodies they don't like. Sometimes it will, it will cause dysphoria in trans people, not just trans women, trans men as well. Like a trans man might not like. 
having, and I hear this a lot, like, oh, I don't like being super short. Trans women, like, oh, I don't like being super tall. Uh, and they say, you know, super tall, super short, where they're you're probably within the regular range. But, you know, sometimes there's a 6'6 six, six mommy out there that is cis. Sometimes there's a 6'6 six, six mommy out there that is not cis. And that's okay, too. Like, there's there's all sorts of ways that people comprise and, and, and incorporate lots of things into their bodies and personalities and, 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 and expressions. And I just don't understand why you would be so upset to see somebody that expressed in a way that you do not. Just wild. Just wild to me. If you want to wear your, your cool backwards hat, make men men again t-shirt, you go for it, dude. I'm going to wear a corn suit. <laughs> While you're trying to be a woman, you know you're a man. You can't, it can't feel, it can't feel. There's no, you can't replace being a woman. Is he going to do anything else? Your knuckles are ashy when you're a man. Your knuckles are ashy when you're a man? Not really. I'm kind of, I'm kind of supple sometimes. Big old knuckle drag. What do you mean? Some dudes. I, I guess I have sort of like, like man hands, I guess a little bit, but like, I don't really, I don't really know. I don't know. Like, so there, I know a lot of dudes with, like, really tiny feminine hands. It's not, like, weird. I, I know women that are, again, all cis, that have, like, like big hands. I mean, this is, like, <laughs> what is so fucking weird about this? <laughs> He's so fucking upset. He's so worried. If I tried to be a girl today mm -hmm. and I felt like I, I was in the wrong body, how am I going to help this? That would be such a good question to ask if you were not being shitty on purpose and instead just actually genuinely like like concerned like like it is honestly um HRT is definitely a, 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 a way a way you can way you can uh, do it but I mean like like genuinely think about a trans person's experience there are aspects of their life that will probably always be some people always be a little dysphoric at times, or it will crop up now and then, or maybe it will just every day be a thing. And that sucks. You know, a good way to help social acceptance and getting rid of the ideas of gender norms. Like, like as these things become more normalized, a trans person doesn't necessarily have to look at their apparently incredibly, all trans women have massive masculine hands. All of them. Just uh, every trans woman is just an athlete trying to dunk on uh, female athletes at this point. That's actually true. Um, every trans woman, uh, is yoked as fuck and is, uh, incredibly talented, uh, athletically. Um, I don't make the rules. Uh, it's just how it worked out. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like, like, like if someone has something they don't like about their body, uh, it could be an intensely personal and uncomfortable thing. And that goes for anybody. But of course, if someone's experiencing dysphoria, it's a much more extreme and, and traumatic experience. And so maybe... We could, as men, as manly men, Brandon, as manly, manly men, maybe we could be there for people that need um, some support. Like, I think I don't think there's anything manlier than supporting somebody that needs support. I think that's probably the manliest thing you could do, Brandon. Um, and since you're very worried about being manly and you're not very manly, you could stand to do more manly things. Um uh, you are, you are sort of like this insignificant, like, like little dweeb person, um, like in your mind, like you, you're, you're very insecure. And if you were more secure with yourself, I think that you could probably, uh, stop being a whiny little bitch and start, uh, uh, making sure that the people around you feel safe and secure and happy in their own bodies. And one of the things that you could do is not say that their hands are weird for some reason. Like, you're very fixated on hands and feet. It's very strange. Um, I don't really get it. Um, <laughs> I'm a trans man under five foot, just so any other trans men comrades know that they're not the shortest ones out there. I dated a lady. A lady. I, da I dated a, a lady. Uh, we were in our early 20s. I dated a girl that was uh, 4'11 once. She was very cute. But it was weird because I'm 5'10", so it was almost a foot difference. I've never experienced that before. She was good looking, though. I was, I was uh, excited excited uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, be in her good graces. She wasn't a bad kisser either, but it didn't work out. She drank a lot. 
Your boyfriend is 5'1"? My wife is 4'11". Wow. System 5'4". I'm the only guy that's actually 5'10". Everyone else that's 5'10 is like... Like, 5'6". <laughs> dudes... Dudes... Honestly, height gets... Uh, is a thing that dudes get denigrated for a lot, which I think is fucking weird. You see how big my hands are? No. I think they're a little if baby If I hands. put a skirt on and went to talk to a man, mm -hmm. and I said, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? My name is Brandon. Instantaneously... He know I ain't no woman. If Brandon Tatum came up to me in a dress and said, hey, I'm Brandon, nice to meet you, and shook my hand, I would say, nice dress, and shake her hand, I guess in this case? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's like fucking weird. All right, I'm going to give him to 10 minutes. If he if if he doesn't change the topic or like try to talk about this cereal, I guess we're just it's sort of ranting at this point. This is the this hand is bigger than most men's hand. Is it, buddy? Instantaneously, this jawline looks masculine. Sure, man. And then sure, sure, maybe to you you look masculine, but not to me. I think you look like a little baby. I think you look like a little baby bitch. That's what I think personally. I don't think Brandon Tatum's very masculine. Instead of thrusting me into this confusion that I have that may cause me to be suicidal or all these other things. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the, confusion, the confusion started before anybody else talked to you, Brandon, in this case. How about we give people access to help first? Okay, healthcare. Done. Easy. Let's give them access to healthcare and mental health care. Done. Easy. Fantastic. 100% behind that. Why don't we give people access to the types of health care that are needed? Sure. And not glorify this. It's not glorified. Wait, wait, wait. Solidarity is not glorification. Glorification is what you do when you shoot jets over a football stadium uh, and wave the American flag and sing the national anthem. That's glorification. Uh, 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 pride events um, are more of like a solidarity event. So We don't want to help people anymore. With, with the amount of money that we have spent on cancer research, all this, why can't we research a, an effective way to help people who may have gender dysphoria? We have. We have researched it, and the research says that they're validly trans, and then the transition is a very good and effective method of treatment, including but not limited to social transition. I'm sorry you don't like the answer, Brandon, but that is the answer. Who may be confused about who they want to be with. Or some type Wait, of, what? of a attraction that's contrary to human nature. What? Wait, it's not contrary to human nature. Humans are naturally doing these things. It's not, I, <sighs> human nature is very clearly uh, diverse. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why <laughs> these people are so fucking tiny brain, dude. Why don't we find research that can help people? So that they can live a productive life and not have to walk around with a cloud over their head or wondering whether or not it's okay, being disowned by your family, and I, having to wonder, am I going to heaven or hell if you're a Christian? <laughs> you just said a bunch of societal problems that are literally what the left is like, yeah, let's let's take care of that then. I don't <laughs> you, I, I'm the realest person talking about this. I know some other people are talking. I'm just keeping it real, though. <laughs> you're not <laughs> keeping it real. You're keeping it dumb. Oh, God. He's so fucking stupid, dude. And I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm not here to de de degrade anybody. Oh. But this is unacceptable when you're preaching this to children. All right. I don't have any time for the rest of this. <laughs> I, that's, I mean, that, we got through 10 minutes before. He's not saying anything different. So... 
<laughs> All right. So the big takeaway here is the big takeaway is, and this is his words. If only there was a treatment. If only there was a treatment for gender dysphoria. Maybe they would. Uh, <laughs> hmm. And you know what that treatment is? Number one, it's social transition. So it addresses all of the issues that you brought up. The cloud over someone's head, the uh, familial issues, the societal uh, uh, issues, uh, uh, the types of people that would be like, you don't look like a woman. That must suck. Yeah, that's that's the treatment. Part of the treatment is uh, social transition and normalization of the uh, of the affected party. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. It's just, it's just wild. It's just wild to me that he like he's asking like decent decent questions if he was asking them in good faith, but he isn't. Okay. Cool. I guess the cereal was um, important. It wasn't really about cereal at all. He was just sort of upset. He's spaghetti about, uh, I guess, trans people. Hmm. Okie doke. Artichoke. You know, this wouldn't have happened if he just ate oatmeal. I don't know what that means. Because of the cereal? Instead of, if he just ate oatmeal instead of cereal? Technically, they're both cereals. Cereal made him come all over the beach or something. I don't know. He was he, he had a weird boner on the beach at, at some point during this video. There was a lot to happen here. I don't think Brandon is very... Is, it, Brandon. Brandon. Brandon is very secure, man. I think he is an incredibly insecure guy that is very worried that you will not perceive him as masculine. Um, and if you don't perceive him as masculine, he will get very, very, very upset um, by that. So that's that's super weird. And it's really sad, right? Um, I don't think I don't think it's very healthy for even cis people. Uh, to be worried uh, with with how you perceive them as a an, a, an acceptable amount of uh, uh, you know masculinity femininity whatever that's fucked up. <laughs>